and it happened to be the type of voice I guess that really grows on to people. So if I had to say what my major contribution, it would be my voice. I mean, I, I like it. now have a film that's made about you so how do you feel about your representation in the film and just having the film made at all well I'm absolutely flattered so since you say that that is the highest form of flattery it gets no higher than this um, they did a they did a, a great job as far as the casting and everything you're actually portraying a real figure so did that add any extra pressure for your um, your role yes all the pressure in the world but she made it so smooth and comfortable and at the end of the day I found it um, very rewarding that she was there because I want to make sure I make her proud and do her justice no matter what happens you know with this film I just want to make sure that she's proud and that she's happy and that was my main purpose so having her there was great and she had to do so much in a short amount of time and for her to like go through it and like succeed at it you know she's a You'll be hearing that from her again, for sure. So. You know, every film, there's always obstacles and difficulties that you have to overcome. But with this particular film, it just felt right. Just the energy, just everybody wanted to win. So it was, it was, it was, it was amazing. It just becomes second nature the more you sort of immerse yourself, you know, into, into, into someone else. So knowing me and knowing my history, I uh, knew that I come from the b-boy era. Uh, so I grew up breakdancing in, in New York City. So. Uh, you know, it's an amazing opportunity to be part of something that is so close to my heart. Oh my goodness! And you mentioned your history of being a b-boy. Do you think that the film does justice to that era? 100%.